Hello and welcome to the Futurist 3D video training series. My name is Jeff Christiana and this is video number four of the Replicator G34 video series on how to reload your firmware if you want to upgrade or if you're having issues. So on the screen here you see we already are connected to our existing electronics. But let's say there's a new version that's come out. First thing we're going to want to do is go to file preferences and you want to take a look at your preferences here we'll cover all the rest of this later for now we're just going to deal with the firmware firmware you want to click on advanced <clears throat> click on firmware update URL you want to make sure that it says HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the future is 3d dot com forward slash files forward slash firmware.xml this is very important if it says MakerBot or UltiMachine or something else in there you're not going to get the correct firmware for your TF3D printer um, another quick uh, note here is this SkeenForge timeout and we'll talk about this later but I figured I'd just throw this out here if you find that your SkeenForge is timing it's basically locking up, freezing um, when you're in there editing. You want to set this to a value greater than negative one. So you'd want to set this to a one or a two, and that'll stop that from happening. I know a lot of people out there have had that issue where they're in there modifying their profiles and they lock up. You have to exit out of Replicator G and you have to come back in. It's very annoying. This is the place where you'll do that. So. We'll talk about that when we start getting into the SkeenForge um, profiles in greater detail in, in the SkeenForge uh, video series. So under advance, make sure this URL is set there. We're going to go ahead and hit close. Your next thing you want to do is go to machine, upload new firmware. So under this firmware upgrade, you can see we've got all kinds of different uh, firmware that we've done over the over the years this generation 3 is all pretty old it's all for our older machines unless you have ramps and running the mar you know if, unless you're running ramps 1.4 you do not want to to use this one if you're using an older version of motherboard and extruder you'll want to use these older Gen 3's so if you don't know um, actually I'll show you here we'll go over here to ramps and under ramps tab let's pull up a picture so unless your hardware looks like this you do not want to use the Gen 3. So, and if you're not using the new Ramps 1.4, hopefully you'll contact us for an upgrade and we'll get you off the old Gen 3 software or hardware. So I'm going to go back over here to my download directory. Actually, just take it back to the website here. Okay, so let's say anyway we'll go ahead and select this we're going to hit next so here's the update so I'm keeping I'm building this so it's it's in a directory basically and you've got all the different versions so I'm always going to keep the different versions of release you can feel free to try any of these but you probably want to do is go for the most newest release candidate of Marlin uh, release candidate 3 is coming out um, hasn't been officially released uh, Marlin 3 is going to give us LCD with a keypad control <clears throat> and all of our newer machines will have that here in the next coming couple months it is uh, May 18th 2012 the time of this recording I'm hoping to be shipping with those around June end of June maybe the first of July and we will be listing the release candidate three of the Marlin um, firmware to support that. Right now, um, I put little notes over here. This 
we're also going to be switching to Adreno 2560s. Right now we're shipping with 1280s. I've got a couple 2560s in the shop. I'm doing some testing with. They look they look like they're going to work just fine. And over to the right, it explains what this firmware does. This firmware, and I'll explain this, the uh, extruder fan heated build platform. So if you look at your ramps on the left hand side by the USB connector, you'll see a D10, a D9, and D8. So on your D10, that will be going to your extruder 1. D9 in this situation is configured to be a fan. D9 can be configured to be extruder number 2. And that is done in the firmware. And I'll show you that when we dig down into the firmware a little deeper. D8 is your heated build platform. So that's why I list out here extruder fan heated build platform where I'll have another listing here when we go to dual extruders it'll be extruder 1, extruder 2. The fan, <coughs> the fan will have a separate connector at that time um, and right now we, we're not even using a fan on any of our printers there's been no need for that but that is a future and you can add a fan at a later time um, with enabling it within the firmware and using two different pins on the ramps um, hardware. So a 2560 has been compiled <coughs> um, for that chip. You cannot use a 1280 on a 2560 Adreno board and vice versa. So if you're uncertain which version you shipped with just contact us and we will let you know. Um, if you look at the Adreno board, which is underneath the RAMS board, you'll see in the chip that it'll say the 1280. It doesn't hurt to try either one of these. I mean, if I want to try a 2560 and a 180, it'll just fail. Then you can go back and try a 1280. Only one's going to work. So we're going to go ahead and select 1280. Say next. COM40 is what it detected it as. So we're going to say next. And we're going to say upload. So what's going to happen here is if you look between the middle of the ramps and the Adreno board, you'll see two LEDs flashing incredibly fast. Those will flicker back and forth. That's showing that it's being programmed. As you can see, I didn't have to disconnect or do anything with the ramps. It automatically disconnected me. Or with Replicator G, automatically disconnected me. And it went right into the upgrade. Then there you go. Firmware update su succeeded. One note, if you're not connected to the internet, this will not work. This upload new firmware connects directly to our website, right to our servers um, on the hosting site. And if you're not connected to the internet, you'll not get this. There is a way through the Adreno here, this Adreno program where I will show you how to do it right from your machine. When you download this, you're downloading the newest Marlin firmware and you can do your changes and upload directly through this. Um, I would suggest that, yeah, it, it, that if you didn't connect through the internet, then you just use your Adreno. So as simple as that, we just upgraded. If there was upgrades here, updates, you would be updated. And now you're back here. We want to go ahead and say connect and it may or may not connect you might have to exit reconnect we'll go ahead and do that we're going to go and x out we'll double click on replicator g again we'll launch it 